Hello, I'm so happy you're here. Today I am making warm potato salad. Yes, you heard that right, warm potato salad. And it's not German potato salad. You probably haven't had a potato salad that was warm that wasn't German, but after you make this, you can say, I've had warm potato salad. Now, I love potato salad, one of my favorite dishes of all time, and I have quite a few recipes. I've already shared my classic cold potato salad, and you can find that link right here. And now today is for the warm version. This is a very unique potato salad as bacon, corn, horseradish, roasted garlic, dill. It has so many delicious ingredients. You're gonna just, you're gonna, if you're a potato salad fan like me, this might be your all time favorite potato salad. So we're gonna jump right in. I did do some prep work before we started filming here. So I've got my baby red potatoes. I quartered them, I mostly six teeths them to get them to about a bite size um, size. And we're gonna roast these in the oven with some of the other ingredients. To the potatoes, we are going to add a few ingredients. Um, corn. This is frozen bag of corn that I have defrosted. And I am just going to spread out the corn on top of the potatoes. What I'm looking for is a really good ratio of corn to potato. The recipe calls for two cups. Um, and you may or may not want to put the two cups, whatever you think is best. I'm probably going to go ahead and put all of it. I'm, I'm liking this ratio here. So, okay, so we got the corn down. And then I have already diced, finely diced, very small, fine dice of the red onions. And I'm going to spread those around just like I did with the corn. This is half a red onion. That's about all you need. And it depends, obviously, on the size of your red onion. Mine was about medium. Uh, that looks really good. Okay, so now, now this is going to be a little bit different. I have got about five cloves of garlic, but I have not peeled them, and that is on purpose. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to nestle them in here, um, and they're going to, this garlic is going to roast along with the corn and the potatoes and the, the red pepper, red peppers, the red onions. And um, you want that, that skin on there so it doesn't get too brown. I've made this before, took the skin off, and then my garlic was a little too brown and, it, and I had to get rid of some of it or it made some hard um, pieces, which I don't want because after this comes out of the oven, we're going to mash that garlic into a paste and add it to the sauce. So remember, leave your skins on for the garlic. So now I'm going to take some sunflower oil. You can use olive oil if you want. I really love using sunflower oil. And I'm being pretty liberal with this. As you can see, it's probably one, one and a half, maybe two tablespoons. I'm going to hit it with some kosher salt because these are potatoes and they need some seasoning. Um, yes, we can add some salt when we get the sauce to it, but we really want to season at every step. So there's a fair amount of kosher salt. And then I've got to hit it with the black pepper, another healthy amount of black pepper. And now the fun part. We're going to mix it gently because if you go crazy, it's going to go all over your cutting board, which I've done that before. Um, we're going to mix it up so everything gets distributed nicely, the oil, the salt, the pepper. And the garlic is in here. We're going to be fishing it out later. It's always a challenge, but I'm sure I will find it. Okay, I think we're pretty good. That looks really good to me. So now we're going to go into a 425 degree oven till everything is nicely roasted. And um, you're going to want to check it periodically to make sure you do not over roast. So in the oven we go. So while the potatoes and corn and garlic and onions are in the oven roasting to perfection, it is a perfect opportunity to to cook the bacon, which we are doing, which I'm doing right here. I want to get a, a very crispy uh, finish on the bacon because it's going directly into the salad when it's time to marry all the parts together. We, I just finished the bacon. It's cooling over here. I am trying really hard not to eat too much of it, but know that I made extra because I always like to pick at the bacon. So it's good, I can eat a little. But we're gonna make the sauce now. Now we're not gonna finish the sauce because there's one component that we need to finish the sauce and that's still in the oven. That would be the roasted garlic. And when that comes out and cools, I'm gonna show you how to make a paste out of that and then add it to the sauce. I'm starting with mayonnaise and Simple Truth plant-based sour cream. So this is completely dairy-free um, potato salad. It's already in my bowl. And I'm gonna add some Worcestershire a little bit of lemon juice, 
horseradish, which I absolutely love. And so my horseradish might have been a couple heaping teaspoons because I love horseradish, but you can gauge that however you like it. Um, I got some fresh dill and I uh, chopped it very, very fine. And so I'm adding that in fresh dill. If you don't have fresh dill, you could use dried, but the fresh dill is going to really bring a lot of uh, flavor and brightness to the sauce. And the last ingredient, if you can eat cheese, if you're dairy full, if you have no problem with cheese, you're going to want to use a, a, a nice aged Parmesan, a Pecorino Romano, but I am not dairy full. Now I can do sheep cheese in very small doses, which a pecorino romano would be a sheep cheese I could add to this. But instead I'm adding some nutritional yeast because I want this to be completely dairy free. Um, and even though I want to be decadent and use the real cheese, I'm, I'm going to be good and I'm going to use the nutritional yeast. So I'm getting that in here and I'm going to mix it all up. By all means, if you can eat dairy, go ahead and put the cheese in because it's going to add a nice layer of flavor. But the, the nutritional yeast is going to give it that nutty, cheesy flavor anyway. So I think it's going to be great either way. So I've mixed it up pretty well. I'm going to add just a little bit of kosher salt because remember, we have the bacon that's going into the potato salad, and that's going to bring a lot of salt to the party. And of course, some um, black pepper is always a good idea. And I'm going to mix this and kind of taste it. Now it's not going to be where it needs to be because it doesn't have the garlic in that. Garlic's going to make a big difference in this sauce, but I'm going to see what it tastes like at this point. Oh, nice and tangy. The nutritional yeast, you can get a hint of it. It's got a bit of a cheesy flavor. As soon as the garlic hits this, it's going to be totally amazing. So I'm just waiting on the potatoes. When they come out, we're going to finish up this potato salad and I'm going to get my bite, which I cannot wait for. Oh, that looks good. They're out of the oven. They're looking amazing. And so I'm going to transfer them to this pan here. Um, one, uh, this is the pan I'm going to mix in. It's a little weird to mix in a pan like this, but I'll explain why later. And two, I want to get them out of this pan so they start to cool a little bit. I don't want them to be completely cool because this is a warm potato salad, but I don't want them to be piping hot either. And as I go along, I'm going to need my glasses so I can fish out the, um, the garlic. And so there's one. As I scoop this in here, I found one garlic. Now I need four more. Scraping everything down to get all of the delicious bits at the bottom of this pan. That's where tons of flavor is. Do not leave that behind. Okay, I think I've got, oh yeah, I've got it all. Okay, so now I'm, I'm hunting. Oh, there it is for one more. We just need one more. There it is. There we go. Five pieces of garlic. Okay, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. And now we are going to work on making a paste out of the roasted garlic. First thing I'm doing is unpeeling the garlic to get the delicious roasted garlic out of its, um, its sheath here, its uh, skin. And most of the time you could just kind of squeeze them and they come out just like that. They roast it up nicely. The smell oh, is just incredible right now. There's, I don't know if there's anything better than roasted garlic. I'm sure there is, but right now there's nothing better than roasted garlic. Okay, I've discarded all of my skin. So I'm gonna chop this up. Just get in here and start chopping. It's pretty soft. If you've roasted garlic before, you'll know that um, once it's in its roasted state, it's very soft and very pliable, much different than in, when it's raw. Okay, so you wanna get it into a nice kind of dice here. You want smaller pieces. And then this is the tricky wonky part, and I preface this with this is not my strong suit, but I'm gonna do it. Take the side of the knife. I like to get it kind of close here so I have better leverage. And you just, press down and make a paste out of it. This is actually working really well. Now, you can do this with non-roasted garlic, it's much harder. Now, th this, was, this was fine, I'm just, hey, I was good at this, I was wrong. I am not not good at this. Okay, there we go. That was easy. And into our sauce it goes. Look at that, that was perfect. I must have been thinking about something else when I thought this was gonna be hard, so. 
That's what happens in cooking sometimes. It's really, really easy when you think it's gonna be hard, and it's really, really hard when you think it's gonna be easy. Keeps you on your toes for sure. Okay, so I've got the roasted garlic in the sauce. I'm gonna give it a taste here. Oh my God, that is, that is garlicky and delicious. Okay, now it is time to marry all the ingredients together. Okay, the reason I'm using this pan is if you're making this for a dinner and you've made it ahead of time, you should be able to take this entire pan, stick it in the oven and keep it warm because of course it is a warm potato salad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my bacon. So sprinkle it around and I did make some extra bacon so I may or may not use all of it I'm gonna kind of look at what my ratio looks like that looks really really good right now so I may add some as garnish let's get all that off of here and then I'm gonna slowly start adding my sauce and mix as I go and because the potatoes are warm they're probably gonna soak up a lot of this sauce very quickly why the recipe has a little bit extra sauce than you may think you're going to need, but it depends on how um, how saucy you want your potato salad. Add a little bit more. Oh, this is going to be so delicious! It smells just amazing. Okay. Didn't soak up as much as I thought it would. This is kind of opposite day. Oh, usually it soaks it up and I can't have enough sauce. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay. Get that all mixed in here. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste, see if it needs any salt. Now remember we added the bacon, so the bacon's gonna bring a lot of salt to the, to the potato salad. So we may or may not need some salt. So let's give this a taste. Oh, mm. so freaking good. Oops, excuse me, sorry, you didn't see that. It needs a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of pepper, and then I think it's going to be perfect. Okay, I put in the rest of the bacon because bacon, you can't get enough. I mean, again, you put in as much as you want. I put a lot. Um, salt and peppered, and now the only thing I need, I think that's gonna take this to another level or at least make it really pretty, is some green onion, which I chopped up earlier. Okay, that's in. I have to take another taste. I just do, I, you know, with the green onion, I just gotta go there, so here we go. Oh, oh my God. The garlic, the bacon, the nuttiness, cheesiness of the nutritional yeast, the mayonnaise, everything. It works together so beautifully. I think one of the things I really love about this potato salad is the corn. That corn brings this wonderful corn flavor and that pop of sweetness. It's just absolutely amazing. It's gonna take everything I have not to sit here and eat this entire pan. Thank you so much for joining me in this potato salad journey. It has been fun. Um, the, the link to the full recipe is in the description below. If you like the video, Give me a thumbs up, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and enable notifications so you'll know every Wednesday and Sunday when we have a new cooking video. And until next time, happy eating. Or Romano, or Reggie, what is that? Parmigiano Reggie. Or Parmigiano, yeah, that one.